What's up, people? Always with the fucking hands. We're back with another video. Welcome to 2022 with myself, Fairbros, and all our partners. It's going to be a fucking great year. The So yeah, mental. It's actually 11 days into the new year already. I'm back at work this week. I was actually in London last week, which was nice. It was weird. I kind of took off between Christmas and... New Year, only worked a wee bit, then I was back at work for a day, but when I got back to work, man, like a couple of days before it, like I felt like my brain needed challenge, like I just felt like I needed to do something with my mind, the, so why well, I started working a bit more, and then yeah, I was grateful when the day at work came around, and then yeah, I was away in London for four days, which was fucking sick, an absolutely beautiful city, loved it, definitely back there soon, like, liked it a lot, it's fucking cash down there, man, seen a lot of rollers, like, a lot of Rolls Royces. My one to be soon as well, if you can see that. Rolls Royce Cullinan, that's a bad boy, I want him. So yeah, this week has been good fun already. It's Tuesday today, the end of the day. The usual New Year hype, eh? I'm back on the eating clean after, going mental over Christmas, back exercising properly, getting up early again. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, yesterday I was like a zombie, man. The, after getting up early, going to the gym, then getting to work. Feel way better today after it. The... But yeah, it's been busy, 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 busy. I rewrote my to-do list, which is just fucking long as hell. But really exciting. The Probably the main thing that's happened is it's a new year. In my recent, basically since about summer last year, I've been working more, not proactive. My work has been more planned out, which has been nice. But the last couple of months, I'm not sure what happened. We kind of got a bit reactive again and not really planning out much. But yesterday... Me, Claire, R Jay and Rory, the, we all went through and made a brief plan for 2022 for all the partners and what sort of marketing strategies we're going to use going forward to get the sales up. Now, as I touched base before, we don't want to just do digital marketing, just rely on Facebook ads and that because I don't believe and we don't believe that just relying on them will get us the results we want in our business. We want to utilise them and other methods. So... It's up on the board here. So we went through Fairbros, IDH, Rise, Eat, Secret Beauty Garden, and LCDC. And here's the 12 categories that we broke down for. And each business has different priorities in each of them. We chose five per business that we're going to use and utilize the most of. So there's email marketing, social, so that's like doing social media posts and social adverts, flyers and letters, posters, banners, signage, Google ads, doing events, making calls, website updates, SEO, samples and trials, and it's the guest experience, and last but not least, least referrals. So basically we've got the brief plan for what we're gonna work on in those businesses now, and then the next stage is to finalize the 2022 plan for each business that we're gonna work on within those categories of each business, to scale the market forward and get fucking sales on this business and get flying. Oh, fucking great news. I don't know if it was confirmed in the last video, but we got our second eats. Woo! I don't know if you've noticed, but I always fucking clap in my videos. Don't know why. The also, I can kind of sit very still. I always fidget with something, so try my best to keep my hands still. But yeah, fucking second eats. I'm so excited with that. We're now doing the background work, getting that shop ready to open as soon as we can, and then we'll have our second location up in Tom Cross, which is absolutely brilliant. Buzzing, buzzing, buzzing with that. We so cool having our second one. And this year, 2022, mark these words, we're going up to 10 eats. That's eight more at least this year we're going to get. We're hitting the double digits in 2022, 10 eat stores all across Edinburgh. Fucking class, that'll be so cool. We're here to take over the dessert game. Boom. Yeah, so that's sick, that's proper exciting. Oh, you know what else was actually really cool? So, I touched base in one of the, I think it was my last video, maybe, or the one before that, that I was making the hiring procedure for a client of ours, The and it was cool for me to like, basically what I have done in my time, like a system that I made, it's tried, it's tested the trial of time. Is that the same? I don't know. It's lasted a while and it works, which is all I care about. Because <laughs> it's now, it's what we use and it's what the, we gave to our client, which is cool. And I actually think I worked out like, 
personally, I've hired easy, probably over 100 people, which is quite a lot of people, to be honest, especially when they're only 23. The, not something to flex on, but sacked. Oh, man. Had to let go probably minimum 50 plus people, which is, it's not flex, but it's just weird that different ages can have such different experiences. I was in a room before with maybe 10, 12 adults, I'm calling them. Apparently, I'm just a kid. <laughs> 10, 12 older business people, like middle-aged business people that ran business, and some of them were saying that they'd never ever let someone go and they were nervous on how to do it. And this was honestly maybe three years ago. And I was just sitting there like, what? Like, that's fucking easy. You do X, Y, Z, you just sort it, boom, and then you it's all done and you move forward. But it's just crazy that different experiences people have that they can rely on and utilize. That's why team teams work so well because everyone's got their experience they can rely upon. But yeah, where was going with that? Oh, yes. So then with Eats, we were using the same system, but primarily so far with Eats, I've just been doing the interviews and the trial shifts. But last week I trained up Darren, our new owner operator in Eats. He's joining the team for the big dogs, fucking class. Welcome aboard, Darren. So I was training up Darren on the interview system as well. So how to do the actual interview with the form and how to do the trial shift. So when I was in London, Darren was doing the interviews with Morag from the office, which was super cool because for the first time in Eats, it's not been me that's doing them. The It's been the system I created is just working and that was nice because it worked perfect. I was on holiday, the job was still getting done. Unfortunately, it's not like that 24 seven, but that would be ideal. And then today I went in and checked in with Darren on his first trial shift, running solo with it again, using the system that I created. The, and it's just nice to see it working and in place and getting results from it because we hired a new supervisor for Toll Cross today, which is sweet. Oh, my files are downloaded. So yeah, very, very sick. The It's just a cool feeling seeing that being done. And then I was just working on tidying up the interview system for LCDC and Secret Beauty Garden today as well, which is pretty cool. It's a bring your dog to work day for me so the boys are sleeping. You wanna say hi? Come say hi. See? Oh, say hi Buster. Hello. Now, I don't usually bring them into work as much as I would love to. Hiya, do you want to say hi Rolo? Come in. Come in. Oh, almost dropped them. Say hello. Hiya. Now if it's up to me, I'd bring them in. Oh every day to be honest. So they're in today, which is nice the, because I had to go home and fix my insulin pump. The quick fact, type one diabetic, if anybody cares or is interested. The, but yes, I brought them in, but I think now they're a bit tired, they're hungry, they want their tea because it's now pushing seven, well, 20 past seven, and I think they want to go home. So we're just gonna finish this up and that'll be them. We've got a big meeting tomorrow for the Fair Bros team, me, Jane, Scott, just sort of figuring out more like plans for the year ahead, things that were directions we want to go in, just tidying up on some other ideas we've got, which is exciting. And yeah, there's just a lot of working on getting the new Eats open up, opened up the and ready to go, because as soon as we get that open, it's then making us money. As it stands right now, we're paying rent in that unit, we've paid for that unit, but it's not open, it's not making sales. So we need to get that turn around quick and start making cash, brother. Hello, welcome back. This is us in our new unit in Toe cross for each number two, really exciting. This unit marks the second on our journey into the double digits. It's, I'll be honest with you, it is very much a work in progress. So if you take a look around just now and have a think about how it looks, and remember this is in a couple of weeks' times, I'll show you what it looks like when we open on the 28th of January. So it'll look way different, way better, and actually be up to the each standard. Nice wee counter there couple nice things in there, doing our delicious items and a few cheeky wee extra menu items. So you need to come up here and try the new things. See you soon. Well, we've just hit what I think could be a new style of weird. We're doing crepes in a cone now at Eats, which is pretty cool. I think it's really cool. So this is actually a bit bigger, but you can tear it off. So in order to showcase that you can eat them in the car now and they're more convenient, I've been trying to take photographs eating a crepe like this <laughs> and fucking people have been coming out of the gym right here I don't know if you can see it right there <laughs> folk coming out of the gym and staring at me posing eating a fucking crepe that is I'm telling you that's commitment to the game 
next level shit, by the way. Oh, <laughs> fucking hell. But, yeah, new packaging to eat. It's convenient to eat in the car. Mixing up the cookie doughs as well. With a drive through may as well be convenient. I can now cruise along and eat this crepe way easier than trying to open up that box. Very cool. The It's getting dark, guys. why it's a bit shine light in. The, the me and my wee crepe. But, yeah. And this, by the way, if I've ever had fucking incredible willpower it's been right now i'm actually impressed myself so as i said started eating clean being good at the gym and that i was even hypo this morning the which always sends a day in a spiral the which diabetes is a weird thing i never really want to talk about the bad parts about it because i never want to come across like a moaner but yeah long story short hypo through the night makes you feel like ass the next day but anyway enough of that stuff so on a day, well, you know, on a day when you don't feel good, you want to comfort eat. I do anyway. The, so, and actually not eating the crepes I've been making today has been such a fucking good thing for me. I'm so proud of myself. And have you ever had it in my, had it in my mouth? Like, it's obviously going to be bent now, but by the way, in order to actually basically do like a half chew and not even scran it, that is, I, I deserve one for that hard work. But you know what? I'm not going to. I'm going to go back to the office and that's how I'm going to reward myself. Let's go. Oh, I tell you what, what a week it has been. A great one, don't get me wrong. This has been a good week, really enjoyed it. The, just been up to Dundee today, it's Saturday, visiting Rise, we're driving over the fourth road bridge. So, oh look, you can see it a bit there, yeah. So, it's been a good day. The Rise was nice, it was busy, all the guests were having a good time. There was a good experience there going on. A few things that we need to fix, but that's the whole point of the visit, is to spot opportunities to improve. But, what I wanted to talk about, the, as a bit of a, like, open myself up, bit of, and again, um, like, the way I like to deal with things, is to think about them, talk about them, the, open myself up, maybe some people will be able to relate, help them get better, but also just, yeah, it's me, is what's happening right now. So, basically, this week at the weekly meeting with Jay Scott and I, we had a really good meeting and basically what we realised is that last year we kind of got a bit complacent, I know I definitely did, like we want results but we kind of just started to accept reasons why they weren't happening and like I know 100% I've been a bit guilty in that and the KPIs maybe they were red when they should have been green and it was just all oh, right well that all, oh, oh, oh what will we do, like rather than what the fuck has happened and why can we fix that? So yeah, like dealt with that and like the realization that I was accepting inferior results really hit me hard. And then this week is weird. Like there's a, like the energy I've got to get shit done and make sure we're getting results feels ridiculous. It's so good. Like, it just feels like I'm working on another level again, like even more <clears throat> than in the last couple of weeks, like stepped it up a notch again. The so yeah, like that's good. Like the how I feel and how well I'm working is good. But what I just keep on going round and round and round and round in my mind is why was why was I accepting inferior results? And almost I was definitely complacent. The that's the word comfortable. I was definitely comfortable, but I think I was accepting failure. In fact, not even accepting. I was. If something failed, if we failed to get the KPIs green, I was accepting it. I was making excuses, and I don't understand why. So that's just swinging around in my head is why was I accepting that? And yeah, it's fucking annoying me that I was like that. But now I feel really good that I've realised, fuck that, I'm not accepting it. And I'm driving forward. But the next thing in my head is how do I make sure I keep this feeling, keep this fire, this hunger to work like this to make sure I get the results because I don't want to lose it, basically, is how I'll get the results is by keeping going with it. So that's what we're currently dealing with, is thinking about how the fuck do we stay motivated, stay hyped, stay running on all cylinders and smashing it. I think really the only way it can be done. Right now anyway, what I'm going to start is last week I was up early, I was training, the, or this week even, not last week, this week I've been up early in the morning, training, then going to work, controlling my day. I think that's definitely helped. And then realising that that's what I was doing, so I need to be aware of that and then make sure I don't accept failure because when I'm not accepting it, if something does fail, I'll be like, right, why the fuck's that happened? How can we fix it? And that'll push me to sort it, which then will keep this feeling. 
So that's the current plan. Control my day better and make sure like I'm be, like if I wake up early and go to the gym, I'll feel productive, feel like I've already smashed it. So yeah, that's like an extra boost. And then controlling things like well not controlling like realizing if it's a failure, like not accepting it and making it work, making it happen because like, we don't want to fucking fail. If that scoreboard is red, it's a fucking failure. If it's green, it's great. So we need all greens. That's the plan. Uh, yeah, boy, he's at Mars. I know motivation, I, like that's why I'm thinking about it. I know motivation will, will slip to the side. And that's how I need the habits to keep me going. I'm just thinking about like what habits do I need to create to make sure that I keep this feeling to get the success that we want this year. Because we've got some big fucking goals that we're going after, the achievements that we're going to make. So we need to make sure that we stay like this and make it happen. And it's reflected with the team as well. We spoke to them, like, even the other day I was on the phone to one of the guys and, like, basically I asked him to do a few things that day and he phoned me. I was like, oh, those two really big things you asked me to do today, the which were the two most important, I might add. I was like, oh, wait, I'm only going to have time to do one of them. I can't do the other one. And before, I would have been like, oh, okay, just make sure you do it Monday, please. The, yeah, but to, but because this new way of thinking, I was like, well, why? Like, why is it not happening? Like, I should do two things today. Like that's the two things I want you to do if you were doing anything, why is it not done? And like digging into it and like letting them know like that's not good enough that they were the two things we needed to do today to get sales into those businesses and it's not been done. Like that's not acceptable. When before I would have just been like, oh, okay, whatever. Like manana, manana, as I've said before, I'm quite a chilled guy, but I need to not be chilled. I need to be disciplined and not accept that shit for myself. And I'm not accepting it for myself. I can't accept it for anyone else as well. But it all stems from the top, so if I've been comfortable and not, and it, well, comfortable in accepting those reds and that failure, then everyone else has been as well. So it's my responsibility to fix that for myself and for the team so we can all get better together. So yeah, that's, that's this week. That's the big one. There's a few things, like, a lot of stuff going on this week, like, been working like a motherfucker, and it's weird, like, working total long hours and that, but, like, enjoying every minute of it. Like, the other day, I was in meetings from 9 a.m. until 20 past five. Like, that's a long day for me. Like, that's back to back, no break in between the, like, every minute was in a meeting. The, but like, at the end of the day, I was like, this has been a great day. I really enjoyed it. So like, that show is obviously enjoy what I do, but like, yeah, man, like working on another, another level and it feels good. So we just need to make sure we're keeping that up. It's really where I'm going to finish the video off today for this week more about like an insight into like the emotions that we're feeling like what we're thinking like how we're going to drive to keep that going forward i don't have all the answers yet but i know i'm going to fucking make it happen yeah end of the video thank you guys for coming on this journey with me i will keep you updated on the mindset like so obviously the most important thing for me just now like keeping that mindset switched on like that keeping us running on this gear and just fucking making it happen let's do it let's stop being comfortable and let's get the results that we want and not accept anything less no more inferior results so thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed it give it a like subscribe to the channel to stay tuned for more it's going to be a big fucking year and i can't wait to bring you guys on the journey to see what we achieve cheers